Hey, take a look at these words. Robber, burglar, thief. What's the difference between them? Well, if you don't know, that's okay. Because I think most native English speakers wouldn't know the difference either. But I'm going to tell you. A thief is someone who steals something. Anything. Okay? Anyone who steals something is called a thief. Now, a robber is someone who steals from a person. Okay, look at this guy. He says, give me your money. He's robbing this guy. Okay, now a burglar is someone who breaks into a building and steals something. Okay, maybe at night. Look, this guy is going into this house. He breaks into the house and he steals something. So he's a burglar. Okay, now when we talk about a bank, we don't really use the word burglar. We use the word robber. Okay, he robbed the bank. Now, what's the difference between rob and steal? Well, we steal something like money or jewelry, and we rob something from someone else, okay, from a person or from a bank. You can't steal a bank. The bank is too big and too heavy. You can't steal it. You're not strong enough, okay? And you can't steal a person. Or can you? Yes, you can. You can steal a person and that's called kidnapping. Kidnapping. It's where you grab a person, you might push them into your car and drive away. Okay, then you're a kidnapper. So we could say this sentence. The kidnapper kidnapped my napping kid. Okay, the kidnapper, that's the person. He kidnapped, that's the action, the verb. He kidnapped my napping kid. Now what does napping mean? Napping means sleeping in the day. Okay, so the kid was sleeping, maybe in a park or something like that. The kid was napping and the kidnapper kidnapped him. Okay, it's funny because this word looks like kidnapping like a kidnapping, but it has nothing to do with kidnapping. It's a crime, okay? So theft, robbery, burglary, and kidnapping are all crimes. Now in the next few lessons, I'm going to teach you all about crime and justice, okay? Now I wanna teach you two important words. People who commit crimes are called criminals, okay? criminals. And people who are affected by crimes are called victims. Victims. Okay, so I want to know, have you ever been the victim of a crime? Let me know in the comments right down there. And hey, if you want to learn more vocabulary on crime and justice, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.